a review of the Unicorn Eclipse HD2 begins right now. Here we go. What's up guys, Worldwide here. So today I'll be doing a quick review on the Unicorn Eclipse HD2 dartboard. Now the reason why I say it's gonna be a quick review is because let's be honest, there's only so many things that I can say about a brand new dartboard. I think they all look awesome when they're brand new. The real test is gonna be, how does it look a month down the road, six months down the road, or even further. So that's what we're gonna find out with this dartboard. And I'll be doing a bunch of update videos down the road. I have one planned probably about a month from now. So keep an eye out for that one. And we're gonna find out how this thing is. I'm gonna give you my honest feedback on it. And what, I guess the uh, bonus part is you'll get to see how this board is wearing video after video after video because this will be hanging up on the wall from here on out. So for today's video, I'll grab the other camera. We'll take a quick close-up look at these uh, at this board, uh, give you some first impressions, and we will grab the digital calipers. We'll measure a few segments. I think that's kind of important, right? Well, at least that's a part I look forward to doing. So yeah, we'll measure some segments. Then I'll get it hung up on the wall. I'll throw some darts at it and give you my first initial impressions of the Unicorn Eclipse HD2. Then we'll go from there, guys. So here we go, should be a good one. And this thing is heavy. <laughs> okay, there we go. So I got my camera mounted way up high on my tripod. I had to do that in order to get the entire dartboard within view. We'll get a little bit closer look here in just a second. But I just took this thing out of the box and man, what a beautiful looking dartboard. In my opinion, Unicorn makes some of the best looking dartboards on the market. The inking job on this dartboard, wow. The black ink, super, super dark. The greens, the reds, all of it looks just about as perfect as you're gonna get. And you know the logos, looking at them now, the logos aren't overwhelming as you'll find on other dartboards. And uh, just very easy on the eyes looking at this dartboard. Um, you know, I guess here's a funny story. You know how we get a brand new dartboard, we take it out of the box, we nitpick these things to death looking for the slightest defects that we can find. Well, on this dartboard, the only thing I saw, and uh, again, I'll take a closer look here in just a second. There's a little bit of sizal kind of, I don't know, it's a little messed up on the double one. Hopefully I don't have to hit the double one too much. And other than that, like I mentioned in my video a couple days ago, there's a slight wave in that 20 segment spider. But again, incredibly hard to notice, especially when you're standing back at seven foot nine and a quarter. So, you know, not a big deal. And if you guys recall, when I opened up the box to my brand new Winmore Blade 5 dual core, the original Trouble two segment wires were all messed up. So that was quite a huge defect. And again, on this board, Really, really hard to nitpick, but again, just those two things, the double one and the slight wave in the 20 segment. Other than that though, man, this board is just about as perfect as you're gonna get, which basically all that tells me is Unicorn's quality control is pretty good. And I know there's some rumors out here otherwise, but as far as this particular dartboard, man, what a great looking board. The number ring, although visually appealing, not a fan of this at all. Look at the plastic numbers. There's been reports of you know, when people miss a double or they hit a number, hit one of these number rings, they will break. They're just plastic. However, Unicorn did rectify that problem with the Eclipse Pro Edition. The metal or the number rings are now metal. So that's a good thing. I actually tried to buy the Unicorn Eclipse Pro Edition, but they were out of stock everywhere. And uh, instead I went with this one because I was in desperate need of a new dartboard. So let me grab this camera. We'll do a handheld close-up look and then we'll measure some segments. Okay, so giving this the quick once over, I'm gonna try to hold the camera as steady as I can, but check out that bullseye, perfectly centered. And you know how we get some dartboards, the bullseye is the bullseye's off by a little bit. That would drive me nuts. But on this board, perfect. Now, let me show you that little double one defect. Basically all that is, is just the sizal is just pushed in ever so slightly. Not a huge deal because like I said, I hope to not be hitting the double one. But about that wave, can you guys notice it? I think you can see it there from this angle. Again, it's not terrible, but yeah, it's a little bit noticeable. Again, you know, I'm really, really nitpicking there. But now looking at the rest of the board, look at the ink job here. 
I don't see too much ink running. You know how on some dark boards, like the green will run over into the large single segment? Man, the ink job is just about perfect on this board. And again, the logos, very easy on the eyes. So yeah, I definitely got lucky. I think I got a great dark board. You know, there's defects with every board, but man, this thing is looking excellent. So there it is, again, with a bullseye. Look at that, perfectly centered. So what do you say I grab the calipers and, oh, when I do hang this up on the wall, like I said, I'll be using the Unicorn Unilocks. I think that's a must have for any dartboard. Basically those replicate the Winmore Rotolock feature and I will not have another dartboard without that feature. I absolutely love it. So there we go, guys. That is the Unicorn Eclipse Pro HD2. Wow, I just can't stop looking at this thing. What a great looking board. So yeah, as you guys see, that's it for the very slight minor defects. Other than that, 10 out of 10 in my opinion. Well, I guess because of those little defects, I'll give it a 9.8 out of 10. But yeah, let's grab the calipers and measure some segments. Okay, time to measure some segments. And keep in mind, I'm gonna be using these very cheap, I think these things were like eight US dollars on Amazon USA, but very cheap digital calipers. And this is extremely hard to do on video, guys. So please keep that in mind when you're in the comment section. I know how the YouTube comment section works. No, oh, you're measuring them wrong. You're not doing it right. Well, 9.8 millimeters for the original Treble 20. But yeah, I did work, happen to work at a naval shipyard building naval destroyers. So I am quite handy with digital calipers. So yeah. Keep that in mind in the comments section. <laughs> 9.8 again for the 18 segment. And this is the 13 segment, 9.8 there, wow. So very consistent. Now let's measure some more commonly used numbers, the treble 16 here. Wow, 9.8 again, very consistent. I think that goes to speak volumes about unicorns Quality control, oh, 9.9 .9 on the treble 19. I'm gonna have to be going for a lot of cover shots. Wow, so some very healthy segments. This is the 17 segment, 9.9 .9 millimeters there as well, and we might as well measure the treble 15. 9.8 millimeters wide there. Now, I guess, well, what do you think, guys? I gotta measure some doubles as well. Might as well make this official. So the original, back to the 20 segment. Can you see that? There's a bit of a reflection there. Right, dead middle of the segment. Well, you know, these wires are so flush, it's hard to get an accurate reading. Oh, come on. The wires are really flush on this 20 segment. So I think it's, 10, can you see that? So 10 millimeters wide there, double 18. Nine point, can you see that? 9.8, what are their doubles? All right, double 16, I guess that's an important one. Eight, 16 there, all right. And wow, these wires are so, the spider is so flush to the sizal, it's really hard to get these calipers in there. Hey, what's going on here? All right, 9.7 with a double 16. So it looks like I'm gonna have to favor that double 20, right? And what other ones? Oh, I guess we'll check the double eight. That's also an important one as well. Oh, come on. 9.6. And how about a double 12, because Hopefully I'll be chasing that thing down when I'm going for the nine darter. 9.9 .9 millimeters wide there. Oh, let's check the bullseye. Boy, this is gonna to be tough, I tell you right now. The bullseye is right dead center. I say 12.8, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see that on camera, I hope. Anyway, 12.8 millimeters wide, and then the entire bullseye, 
Trying to be dead center here. 30. Ah. Thirty one point eight. I don't know if you can see that. Thirty one point eight. That said, so that's the segment size. Very very healthy. But again, all the segments were almost spot on when, with one another. So quality control. Can't complain there. But I really look forward to bashing these healthy segments. Let me get this thing hung up on the board or hung up on the wall, and I'll throw a few darts at it and give you some uh, give you some thoughts about what I think of this Unicorn Eclipse HD two. Okay, let's have a few throws on the Unicorn Eclipse HD2. I didn't think this one through at all because I just got done recording the footage you just watched. I had my tripod set up here and then I uploaded it to my desktop. So then after that, I hung the board up only to realize I haven't thrown a single dart today. I'm not warmed up at all. So what you're about to see right now are my first darts at the Unicorn Eclipse HD2. Also my first darts of the day. So that's going to be rough, but We'll see how this goes. Oh, and you know what? I'm looking at the loud truck just went by. So I'm looking at my monitor here. The reds look extremely vibrant there. Very bright red. And then looking at the board from the line here. I mean, I said this in the video the other day. Wow, beautiful looking board. So let's see how this goes. Please don't expect too much. Ah, phew. Hey, at least it wasn't a five. So the first thing I notice, obviously when you get a new dartboard, extremely quiet, wow. And the darts, they sunk in, they sunk a little less further than they normally do. You know, I heard reports of this dartboard being soft, but seems kind of firm to me. Hey, there's my first treble 20 ever on this board. Yeah, wow, very quiet. My girlfriend will definitely like that feature. Or actually, our bedroom wall is kind of far on the opposite side of this wall. There's a huge walk-in closet, and then the bedroom's on the other side of that. So sometimes late at night, she hears that thunk, but she says she doesn't mind it. Puts her to sleep. I refuse to hit a 26 on my new board. But you know, the, the darts, they aren't going into the board very far at all. So any reports that you might have heard about the unicorn board being too soft, I'm not seeing it from first impressions. Actually seems really firm. Keep in mind, I'm throwing a 19 gram steel tip barrel here, or steel tip dart. But yeah, those, uh, those points aren't sinking in that far at all. Well, let's see if I can Christian that bullseye. Ah. And that's a problem with, um, to go a little off topic, with dartitis. You know, with my weird throw, it does take me a little bit, a little bit of warm up to get going. So, you know, the videos that you see me shooting and I'm playing well, you know, it takes a little bit of warm up before I do that. So you're catching me very first throws of the day. Wow, that made a pretty loud thunk. 100. But yeah, the board seems, board seems really firm. Wow. Quite surprised by that. Double 16 I was trying for. You know, I, I do have to admit though, yeah, those, those segments, they do look healthy. I mean, they look, they look decent size from here, but you know, the kind of the drawback, the, the doubles and trebles look so big, it makes the bullseye look small, but I, I compared that bullseye with, with the uh, Blade 5 dual core, uh, pretty much the same size. So yeah, just, it's, just a, it's just a visual thing. The trebles, doubles look big. That bullseye looks kind of small in comparison. Ah, man, I'm just no good first thing, first throws of the day. 
All right, last one right here. Last one, and then I'm going to have to film the intro that you've already watched, throwing out the bullseye, and I've got to film the clip that you're about to watch here in just a second. All right, good enough for now. So there it is, guys. That's my first impression. It's a firm board. Obviously, it looks incredible. It's very quiet. No complaints whatsoever as of right now, and I think it's going to be very long lasting. I'm gentle on dartboards anyway. I'm going to rotate that thing to death, and uh, I suspect it's going to last me quite a long time, as we're all about to find out over the upcoming weeks and months. But what else do I got to do? I guess that's it for now. Enjoy this last clip, and I guess that's it. Yeah, enjoy the last clip. We'll see you. that that's the first 180 on the unicorn eclipse pro actually i haven't been recording that long let me check four minutes 23 seconds 24 25 so i wasn't too bad without a warm-up and i'll tell you what i'm going to leave the darts in the board just like that because i just realized i haven't taken a picture for the thumbnail yet so we'll take a picture just like that and I have a feeling this video dragged on for a little bit longer than I wanted it to. I said it was going to be quick. I don't think it is, but hey, I'm pretty excited about having a new dartboard. And uh, my overall take is that it's a lot more firm than I thought it would be. So no issues with the darts sticking in at all. They were going in just fine. Absolutely love this board so far, which I guess is kind of surprising. I did have a little bit of bias coming into this review, but those are completely gone. Everything's gone. Everything I see is positive so far. Time will tell. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you enjoyed the video, thumbs up are always appreciated. Until next time, guys, we'll see you on the next video. Later.